Wham! Bam! Bang! Welcome to B -B 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 Brucey and the Jets, your home for all things New York and Jets. It's me, your host with the most, the 40-yard line on the 40-yard dash, the mean green king himself, the man who can't sleep past 5 a.m. on game day, Bruce Pawford. Now, <laughs> this is the first episode of B -B 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 Brucey and the Jets, and we could not have chosen a better time. We're fresh off the draft, and I think we made an amazing pick in Sam Donald. And I always go out of my way to take this time to remind us of something we all hold near and dear to our hearts being green and pearl. You see, this is the time of the year when, now that the draft has finally happened, we have to look around our fandom and the anger and joy over our newfound picks. Now we can finally begin to heal this rift. Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day who we drafted. We all know that we'll wake up the first game day of the season. Bright-eyed and peachy-faced. And the, Jet, the Jets will already somehow be 20 points down against the Patriots or whatever other shit team we're forced to play in game one. By the way, fuck the Patriots. And Tom Brady. I hope last season was the last time we were going to see Mr. Deflate My Balls. But instead it looks like there's more coming. Hopefully. Whatever team has to play them, because we all know it won't be the Jets. Uh, you know, whatever team plays them in the finals can remind them what it's like to play real football. Now, you might be thinking, <laughs> but Bruce, usually so full of optimism around this time of the football season. You're right. I am. We haven't hit training camp, camp yet, so there's there's a chance we're going to... There's no chance we're going to lose our entire defense in a freak injury that would only happen to the Jets! Things are looking up. But here's the thing. I like to take this time of the year, right after the draft, to remind us all why we became Jets fans. And not Giants fans. Or Cleveland fans. As Artie Lang used to say when, when I was a kid, I was into the New York Jets. And then I got into girls as I got older. And then I got back into the Jets because I realized there's times when the girls won't fuck you. But the Jets will always <laughs> fuck you. This quote is what it means to be a Jets fan. I go so far as to say our whole lives as Jets fans is based around this one quote. We wake up Sunday morning full of hope, ready to tailgate, ready to laugh, ready to enjoy the company of other Jets fans. And fast forward to the end of the day, and we're devastated because, of course, Josh McCown couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, and the Jets lost. You better not need us Monday or Tuesday, because we're too busy recovering from the devastation. Wednesday? We're over it. No big deal. So Wednesday's a good day. But then Thursday, it's time to start stressing for Sunday's game. And by the time Saturday rolls around, we're ready to explode with the first thing that goes wrong around us. All this is to say that from September to December, because the Jets never make the playoffs, we only have one good day a week. And it's all because of the goddamn Jets. So why do we keep coming back year after year with the, what, with the butt fumbles and the J-E-T-S suck, suck, suck chants and the ghost of Ken O'Brien hanging over us? Well, we love this team. And despite having been taught by the Jets to expect the worst, our future, I'm telling you, looks bright. You know, we got some amazing talent in Jamal Adams, Robbie Anderson, Sam Donald, Nathan Shepard, and Florenzo Fatuski. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we haven't played a game yet, so there's a chance the Jets could make a run for it this season. <laughs> Listen, I'm just a miserable Jets fan saying this. But when it comes to nearly everything, it's important to have faith. Don't be 100% confident in something. Because that would mean that you've forgotten the Jets. But 
it's important to believe every now and then. And right now, I choose to believe. Alexa, turn the bedroom green. <laughs> See you all next week on B -b 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 Brucey and the Jets. Bruce Warford signing off. How do I? Oh, off.